Welcome to Hedgehog's Hungry Hodgepodge. It's the fifth Saturday of the month and that means it's breakfast week. This month we're going to be making a quick and easy egg burrito with a sweet and tangy orange salsa. Let's get started. Alright, I've started out by heating two separate medium pans over medium heat and we're going to start making our salsa. I'm going to start by adding about a tablespoon of olive oil. Then adding about a cup of chopped onion, or about a quarter of the onion, depending on the size of the onion. We're going to let that saute for about five minutes, moving it around occasionally. Next, you're going to add two chopped Roma tomatoes, about half a cup of tomatoes. Stir those in. Add the zest from an orange and the zest from a lime. Then you're going to cut that orange and that lime in half. You're going to use half of each kind and get all that lovely juice in there. You're going to add half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of brown sugar, preferably light, but if you have dark you can use that too, a quarter cup of chopped cilantro, and an eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. The reason why I'm using so little is because if you use more it's really overwhelming with the eggs and that never tastes good. Also, if you don't want to make the salsa, if you just want to buy store-bought, that's okay. Please use mild. Uh, you could also use Whole Foods brand, the 365 brand of mango salsa that adds a nice sweet element to it that's really, really great. And of course, as always, just a little bit of salt and pepper. gonna put this on low and let the juices fuse together for a little bit while we cook our eggs. Now we're gonna be doing the egg portion of the egg burrito. So now we're gonna add just a little bit of salt because there's enough in our salsa and also some pepper and we're gonna beat the eggs together. I have four here. You can use as many as you want. I would do two per person. Now you're gonna add about a half of a tablespoon to a tablespoon of olive oil. I just usually use the spray kind. And then add your eggs. I'm gonna scramble those up. Now if you're concerned about cholesterol, by all means, you can just do egg whites. It gives you the same amount of energy as if you were having the yolks with it. But it felt kind of wasteful to do four eggs without the yolks, so we're keeping them in today. And you're just going to let that cook through until there are no wet bits left. Next we're going to be assembling our burritos, starting with a wrap. What I've got here right now is a whole wheat wrap, however you can use whatever kind of wrap you want. I can guarantee that any flavor of wrap that you can possibly think of will taste good with this dish. You're going to take half of your scrambled eggs and put it in the center. Then you're going to take half of your salsa and put it on top. And you're going to take about two tablespoons of cream cheese. You can use more if you want, but two is good enough for now. Then you're going to wrap it up. You're going to take the sides, fold it over, take the bottom with your thumb, and roll. Bam. Done. If you want, you can use a fork and knife. This is America where we just dive in. so. Hands on deck. It's perfect. 
it for breakfast just because, you know, if you haven't had your morning coffee yet, it doesn't punch you in the face. It's very mellow and sweet, but a little tangy, and a little bit of heat from the red pepper flakes. And it's just really good. And this will give you energy at least until lunch. Sometimes you can skip it. I don't recommend that. Make sure you eat three full meals a day. But, um, yeah, this will hold you. All my recipes can be found at www.hedgehogshungryhodgepodge.com. You can leave comments and suggestions there or right here on YouTube. I'd love to hear what you think. I'll see you guys next week for another episode of Hedgehog's Hungry Hodgepodge. Bye!